Uh, the gravy train has a do 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 choo 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 come to an end. <laughs> the gravy train has come to an end. Let's get into it on Friday, January 12th, 2024, and uh, happy Friday to you. <laughs> I was marveling today how much the work world has changed when I was involved starting uh, starting at age uh, 14, probably, in, I don't know, 19, whatever, whatever it was, 1910 or what, <laughs> I don't know. But how much it has changed over the last, uh, particularly the last five or six years in the pandemic where work is now viewed as more and more an optional kind of thing that well, I don't build my life around work. Work has to adapt to my life. And I thought to myself, wow, there's probably, there's probably going to have some blowback in the future. Because as I've said before, never in the history of civilization has there been a time when work has not been like, uh, you know, boss <laughs> with the stick over you. I do this, crotch it, you idiot, you know. Oh, what is it, Mr. Scrooge? I saw you put another lump of coal on the stove. Oh, sorry, Mr. Scrooge. I found myself a bit chill. <laughs> I mean, that's what we kind of associate the Dixian world of, um, of work. And that really held pretty much uh, held true. But it's interesting now how, you know, things reach their zenith around 20, 2018, 2019, places like Google uh, in the in the fight to hire software engineers and people, they would have a, a free food service. Here's your menu today, Chateau Briand, and we're having a filet of, of sole of Dover sole. Yes, it's flown in from <laughs> it's flown in from Dover. And uh, yes, we have an omelet chef that'll come around in the station. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, holy shit! I mean, I'm out there. I'm, I'm out there at age uh, 16. I'm shucking 13 bushels of corn in the hot sun in uh, outside of a seafood restaurant in Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, ain't nobody come out and even offer a glass of water, right? <laughs> right? It's hot today, and every time you finish shucking the 13 bushels of corn, here comes Corn Man in his old beat-up truck from Delaware coming down with another 13 bushels of <laughs> corn. So what did that do for me? It taught me patience. That's what it did, right? You guys are always like, oh, Rosie, you're so patient, right? Nothing ever, nothing ever perturbs you, but how things have changed now. Right, uh, you had to have the food service, and then there's, uh, you know, we have the massage person. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little knotted up today. I have this, I have this uh, algorithm problem I can't seem to solve. So I think that uh, the, uh, the magic fingers will help me. And uh, uh, is uh, is Vivian available? <laughs> <laughs> why Vivian? Uh, I don't know. She did. <laughs> we know why, right? And then Google, they even had they even had daycare, right? Uh day uh, you know, their own little daycare operation. I'm just thinking to myself. <laughs> Well, it seems like it's all, I don't know. All I'm hearing about now is layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. Uh, Citibank's cutting 20,000 people. This tech company's cutting this. This tech company's cutting that. Uh, you better protect your sacks, right? If you're in, <coughs> if you're in tech. And uh, I wake up this morning and I uh, check down in the news. And uh, yeah, Google is laying off uh, a crap load of... Uh, of uh, employees and they're shutting down the daycare operation. <laughs> I just think, gee, it's always been symptomatic to me. Like when I think back at the, uh, back in the nineties when the whole telecommunications bubble burst and at that time, all the, you know, WorldCom and all, they had all these, all these perks and they were growing like crazy. Then the savings and loans bust in 2008 in Washington Mutual and, uh, you know, all these WAMU and all these, <laughs> had all these perks. 
And I'm telling you guys, when the companies start up or that, you better run the other way. You better find a place where the old boss is over here. <laughs> I'm telling you, absolutely, as God is my witness, I'm telling you, that world is definitely going to come back. Because uh, when those employers get the upper hand, uh, you know, uh, you, um, you'll be massaging them. <laughs> and not just their shoulders either, if you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, I'm going to close it out today. What a wacky world we live in. As I say, never in the history of civilization has work ever been considered something that was uh, optional that uh, you could pick it up or uh, don't do. It's a tribute to how disordered our society is today. That uh, uh, There was another article today that the employers are very reluctant to hire uh, Gen Z workers, not because they're lazy, but because they're entitled. Right? <laughs> you walk in, uh, yeah, where's the uh, where's the coffee bar that uh, where's the barista there? Uh, where's the pastry cart? Uh, are we having a beer party? <laughs> no, a hole. We're struggling to survive. All right, get your hands on the wheel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, we have fun every single day. Uh, we try not to be too serious about things, but get involved and uh, take things in a lighthearted note. So on that note, I'm going to close it out. Wish you a wonderful day, and uh, I will see you later on. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.